I am so excited about soybeans because we have so many different traits now to choose from to help us with our weed control. We'll discuss the traits that are on the market right now and which ones may be more beneficial for you. All right, let me first start with the old traits, Roundup Ready 2. Love it, yield is great. We can spray Roundup. The problem is Roundup isn't killing a lot of the weeds that are out there right now, the broadleaf weeds. Okay, so then you look at Liberty. There are no resistant weeds to Liberty, but the problem is the straight Liberty trait, they haven't really been breeding new genetics into that. So in my eyes, I'm not planting Roundup 2 anymore. I'm not planting straight Liberty anymore. The two traits I'm really looking at is Extend and Enlist. Let's talk about Extend as this one's been out now for a few years. You've got the options of spraying Roundup or spraying Dicamba. Dicamba has been very misunderstood around the country. It's a product we've been using really my whole lifetime, and it is pretty effective on most broadleaf weeds, but it's not bulletproof. You can't just say, well, I'm gonna spray it any time of the day. You've got some restrictions on that now, and you have to look those up before you apply. In fact, you have to look them up within a week of when you're going to apply, just to be sure things haven't changed and more options aren't out there for you. Let's just put it this way. You've got to spray in the daylight hours and finish up your spraying at least a couple hours before sunset. Our big concern here with the dicamba is really the off-target movement, especially with volatility. So what we really prefer is to see you use this dicamba only on fields where you have sensitive crop around you when the wind is going to blow away from the sensitive crop for the next 48 hours. If you do that, usually you're in pretty good shape. Yes, if there are no sensitive crops around you, no big concern, just follow the label, you should be good. But again, if you just simply watch not just what's today's weather, but let's look at what is tomorrow's weather doing, then generally speaking, we can spray pretty near sensitive crop, following the label, and we are not going to have real big issues. Hey, one other thing that's coming that's not out yet this year, but it's coming probably in another year or maybe two, is Extend Flex, where you get the Extend trait, plus you can spray glufosinate or Liberty over that crop as well. There's gonna be many plots around the country. I'd encourage you to take a look at some of those this summer too. Now there is a three-way uh, tolerance that's out there. It's called Enlist E3. It has tolerance to glufosinate or Liberty, glyphosate or Roundup, and also a new 2,4-D product called Enlist. Now with Enlist, it's a different type of 2,4-D than we've used before. We've used the amines and we've used the esters and we've had volatility and off-target movement concerns. This new 2,4-D, uh, the product is gonna be called Enlist 1, that would be the solo product. Enlist 1 has 2,4-D choline, which does a much better job of staying put right where you spray it. Enlist 1 is also Colex D, a drift retardant. So you've got Colex D, and this new 2,4-D. The new 2,4-D, by the way, if you want to buy it separate for your yard or your pasture or something, it's called Freelex. It's phenomenal. It's been out for a few years. We love it. Not really seeing anything for volatility or drift compared to the old 2,4-D. All right, so Darren, some really quick questions that I get from farmers. What do you think of Enlist Yield versus Extend Yield? I think the yields are going to be fairly similar on a lot of these traits. Obviously, there's going to be a strong product here or a strong product there from one trait to the next. I don't think yield is going to be the big factor. I think it's going to come down to weed control and which products farmers feel comfortable with. Uh, for example, on the Enlist side, you've got the option of using Liberty and you've got the option of using this new 2,4-D product, Enlist 1, post-emerge. Well, that's kind of fun because now you've got tank mix possibilities. You've got, uh, hey, one application I can do Liberty, the next one I can do the 2,4-D product. Now with the Extend, this has been out for a while. So it's a proven product. The varieties that are out there are proven in the marketplace. And honestly, for most farmers that have been planting Extend, they'll say, I've never had as high a yield as planting these varieties. So I see a lot of farmers saying, even if I didn't use the Dicamba, I may want to use the Extend because those varieties have been so good. Are you seeing any difference in terms of defensive traits, whether we're talking extend or enlist? There certainly are gonna be some differences when it comes to defensive traits. As the extend platform has been out longer, typically you're gonna see more defensive traits at most maturities in the extend than what we're seeing in the enlist E3 beans. But the enlist E3 beans, they're coming along and there are some of those traits out there. You may just have to be a little more choosy on varieties. Real quick, how's enlist supply? 
Enlist supply for this year is pretty good. The challenge is it came out so late that a lot of seed companies were a little bit late to the game and getting the seed and getting it processed, but chances are suppliers in your area will have some Enlist. We are very excited about both Enlist and Extend. They are great weed control options. You certainly can control weeds in some of the other traits or non-traded soybeans, but you're going to have to use lots of pre-emerge herbicides and spray very early post. Make sure you're staying ahead of weeds if you don't have the good options like Dicamba, 2,4-D, or Liberty when using some of these new traded products. Well, traits can be important when we've got weeds like our Weed of the Week to control. Can you identify this week's weed?